Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here and it is it's currently uh it's 1:54 in the morning and I just remembered that I have to work in 5 hours and 6 minutes. Ugh. Why do I go to such late showings? That face probably looked really weird. Okay, so I just got done watching Captain Marvel with Tori, which, which by the way, they, they never called her Captain Marvel in the movie. I was wondering that. Like, I was like, I saw pops of her, you know, the little little Funko pop things. Um, I mean, honestly, if you, if you don't know what they are by now. Yeah, and I saw that her name was Verse, or, or Verse, as they were saying it, which I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw, like, like the whole time in the movie, I was like, Verse, that's like Carol Dan Verse, is, or Verse, it's the end of it. And then they did the thing with the dog tags, and it's, yeah, it, I, it made sense. I was like, oh, cool. That's, that's very cool. That is cool. Okay, so point of this video, because... Um, nor I don't like to just straight up review a movie. Everybody can do that, but what I like to do is answer a particular question. And I really didn't know which question to answer or what questions, like, because there could be a lot. Um, like, you know, was it a good fall? Was it a good prequel to Endgame? Was it a good in between? Um, but after giving it some thought, I think the perfect question uh, that I should answer for this movie is did we need it? Did we need the movie? Did we need her? Did we need the character? Did we need Brie Larson? Which, by the way, let me just um, let me just interject. Uh, the first video I did for Tyler Talks was why Ronda Rousey should be Captain Marvel. So yeah, I'm glad that didn't pan out because Brie Larson was perfect and uh, Ronda Rousey probably wasn't. Not not to completely shit on her, but is. I don't know, she was just a fierce woman and she was interested in it, so I was like, cool, let's run with that. But no, Brie Larson, just phenomenal job, you know, just good for you and, and stuff. I don't, it's coming out sarcastic, but I don't mean it to be. She did, she did a great job. I, I fucking loved it. So yeah, was, was she the actress we needed? I think so. I think, yeah, she did a, she did a fantastic job as Captain Marvel or Carol Danvers or Veers. She, she, had, she had a lot of names in that movie. Also, another interjection. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sick, but I'm not. Okay, I'm a little sick. Oh, and I'm also in a new, a new room. If you haven't known by now, like, you must not be really keeping up with me. Yeah, I moved. Tori and I have moved. We are in a new place, so got a nice plain wall for you. Cool. You know what else is cool, Captain Marvel? Yay! Look, look how I got back to that. Huh. Okay. So Infinity War. Shit went down. Nick Fury, he was dying, and he's like, yo, I got one person to help me, and Captain Marvel was the answer. Now, then I really didn't think that, like, oh, we need Captain Marvel. You know, we have all of these Avengers, even the ones that didn't die. Pretty sure somehow could still be capable of killing Thanos, avenging him, doing whatever they gotta do. But I, I was like, oh, that is a very interesting way to introduce a character into the MCU. You know, have it be a dying wish. So I was like, okay, cool, that's a good way to introduce her, bring her into the story. However, it actually turns out that she is the key. She is the weapon. She is what makes Endgame possible. So I'm to assume, I don't know, I gotta wait like 37 days until the movie comes out. Or by the time this video is up, maybe 35 days. I don't know. Either way, she. I'm out of breath. Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, you you were gonna save us all. I hope. I don't know. She's like she's super badass. Okay, so what I loved about this movie was was that she she was like finding out her her abilities as the movie progressed. We didn't just see everything at once and be like, cool. So that's what she's capable of. It was just like, oh my god. So that just happened. She can do that. Just it's fucking. It's it's fucking awesome. But was this the story we needed for Captain Marvel? Yes, and I'll tell you why. So another thing that Marvel needed was some diversity. It's been like 20 something movies and it's nothing, it's been nothing but like male leads. We've had great, great supporting female leads, but not like a hardcore female driven story. And that arguably is what Captain Marvel was. Um, now granted it was just a little bit late to the superhero show for females because, you know, DC did it with Wonder Woman, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that, uh, 
Captain Marvel is just a little better than Wonder Woman. And it's not even like I'm shitting on DC. Like, I like DC. They're all right. You know, I like Marvel more. I mean, fuck it. I'm wearing a, wearing a Justice League shirt. You can see that on back. See, there's somebody important. Yeah. But no, what, what Wonder Woman did is like, it was Chris Pine's character, Steve or Trevor, whatever his name was. He like pretty much kind of held her hand, guided her. He was that thing because she was like a foreign lady. In a, in, you know, he, he, she needed a man to figure out what was going on. Captain Marvel, however, didn't do that. At the beginning of the movie, I thought Jude Law was going to do that. I forget the names. What was his name? Is that Steve or Trevor? I don't, I don't fucking know. But yeah, he was just like, I need... Uh, I forgot. He's just like, you need to d control yourself. You need to do what I'm saying. But that, that was quickly abandoned. At the end of the movie, he's like, you need to prove to me that you're like this. And she's like, I don't need to prove you nothing. Girl power. She was dope. She didn't, she didn't need, she was the leading role. Even with the movie of Nick Fury in it, she, uh, she, she was leading him. You know, she brought the Fury. In fact, Nick Fury, his character was just top notch. Eyeballs and hair and all. He did, did a phenomenal job as his own character. What are you, what the fuck? So, did we need Captain Marvel? Especially when we needed it. There's been like a lot of articles and like, oh, Kevin Feige, you know, answers the question of why we waited till now to get Captain Marvel, why Nick Fury waited so long. I didn't read those articles because I don't like spoiling things for myself. Um, maybe I can go back and read them now because obviously I've already seen it. There's nothing to spoil besides Endgame. And I swear to God, Google, if you think that for one second I'm interested in knowing every fucking possible theory and spoiled leakage of Endgame, just you're wrong. You don't know everything. I mean, there are probably, there are probably some other points. Oh, so, uh, having a female-led character powered movie, you guys follow that logic, right? There, there's always the, uh, the question of, oh my god, who's gonna be her love interest? It's no one. This movie was awesome in that sense. You focused on her, and that's it. If anything, there was a friendship that you could follow, uh, and also, I think the biggest love interest of this movie was between Nick Fury and the cat. The cat's name was Goose? Groose? I think it was just Goose. I think Groose was a, uh, was a character in the Skyward Sword. Yeah. So that was, that was like, that was, that was a pretty good part. Is, once again, like, a pop vinyl, the, you know, the little Funko thing I keep talking about. Alright, actually, it's, I've only mentioned it once. But a little, that was just kind of spoiled for me. Just because of the tongues, or the mouth tentacle I don't know what came out of that cat uh, clearly this video has some spoilers in it sorry if you couldn't read the title uh, but yeah so that was a little a little spoiler I was just waiting the whole movie for that to happen and it did didn't disappoint it was, it was like kind of cringy it's kind of out of breath so huh so I, I think I think I answered everything. The one thing with Captain Marvel being set chronologically where it is within the MCU, it's like, did it, did it make sense storyline? Like, Ronan the Accuser? Is it the Accuser or the Destroyer? I think it's just Ronan the Accuser. The blue dude who was in the first Guardians movie. He was in the story a little bit. Uh, and it was just like, okay, you know, it doesn't really like answer any questions. It'd be like, oh, so that's, you know, that's his deal. He was, he was there and it was like, it made sense because he's in the galaxy and whatnot. Um, but, where, what was I saying? So, yeah, like, did I need this movie to be the way it was? I mean, I'm just going to say right now, any movie that like can somehow just have Nirvana in it, not even just in the background. That was legit part of the movie. It wasn't it Smells Like Teen Spirit. It was uh, It's Come As You Are. It was good. I fucking, I fucking love Nirvana. So you had me there. It has some good comedy throughout it. And it was, mo it was like 70% serious. <laughs> it's like 70% serious, you know, 25% comedy, 5% awesome. Well, it was like all awesome. 
I don't know why I'm bringing math into this, but it, whatever it was, it was it was a good balance of whatever it needed to have, and it. So this is why I don't review movies. I suck at it. And plus, it was just like I could feel Brie Larson's energy. Like anytime she'd like scream, just like whether it was anger, or excitement. I was like, yeah, you go, girl, motherfucker, you fucking killed some people. And the aliens is it had a good twist. I mean, they were good at the end, and it was good. Like I knew. Once again, from probably like an article I read off of Google, that Jude Law was kind of bad or whatever. Eventually bad. I get no. I get, he was all bad, always bad, whatever. But yeah, no, it was it was good. It was a good, compelling story. That's what we needed. It wasn't really focused on Infinity War, Avengers. Uh, of course, the end, the first end, because there's two end credit scenes, I think. Um, yeah, that. That was like as soon okay, as soon as I saw Captain America come on screen, I was like, mm, yes, not because he's like attractive, although I could, I, I kind of just gave off that vibe. No, it was just like, yay, Avengers! Now we're we're all together again, and it was just it was dope. Oh my god, I can't. Mm, 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 mm. It's been a while since I've done one of these, like since October. I think I'd like review Halloween or something in my dad's garage. I'm probably a little rusty. I'm also super tired because it's it's currently it's like 2:07 in the morning. Oh boy, two in the morning. I haven't been up since that late time in a while. Oh wait, I was up that late like two nights ago. Okay guys, well thank you so much for watching this you know kind of spoilery video review of. Captain Marvel, um, yeah, it was cool. I'm excited for Endgame. So, me and Tori were currently marathoning all the movies. Okay guys, I've talked for too long. So, did we need Captain Marvel? Yes, for all the reasons. It was funny, it was great, it was compelling, I loved it. Oh my god, she's gonna kill Thanos. Probs. Okay guys, well thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click subscribe. And it's so robotic to say that. I'm just gonna go to the end screen.